Hey everyone, you're watching the baddest man on the planet, Transaaron38. And you know what that means? That means that this channel is for adults only. So if you're under the age of 18, go somewhere else. What is up, you plastic crack addicts? I'm your host, Transaaron38, coming at you with some more Transformers Shattered Glass action. And today we're taking a look at the new Transformers Shattered Glass Star Screen. And there he is in all of his glory. Finally, we got finally getting the last last figure out of uh the whole shattered glass uh, co uh comic uh book uh pulse exclusive uh and it's freaking awesome about time we get a hold of this guy because they kept on pushing it back pushing it back but they, all the other figures kept on getting released but starscream should have been released a little while, long time back but hey but anyway my good buddy starscream on instagram definitely definitely uh thank you again brother for uh let me borrow this figure to go ahead and get get him reviewed. Basically, it's your Tetra Jet version of Starscream in Jetfire colors, and it's freaking amazing. But anyway, definitely give him some love, fellas. If you guys are not not uh, following Starscream on Instagram, definitely definitely follow follow my buddy Starscream out on Instagram as well. But later on in the review, I'll, I'll definitely put a screenshot of his name. Definitely. Check them out, and if I can, I'll try, try to do a link as well. So anyway, let's get him out of his cardboard and plastic prison here, folks, and welcome to my channel, and cue that awesome music intro. Yeah! Yeah! folks here is your shatter glass star screen which is a pulse exclusive well this one is a pulse exclusive uh because you get the comic the pulse exclusive co uh, comic variant going on here with star screen and uh yeah this looks really good the white on this figure looks really good but i'll get my nick picks out of this here in a little bit because there is a couple different shade white differences on this figure that not sure what the heck is Hasbro using for their color mixtures for their plastics. But uh, anyway, you do get the Pulse exclusive comic variant with your Starscream comic, which is very cool. You get a nice picture of Starscream right there, which is pretty badass. And obviously you get the authentic packaging here with the figure because, hey, I don't show Transformers if I don't have the authentic packaging. If I don't, I'll tell you why. But yeah. Anyway, got obligatory product shots on the back. He transforms at 22 steps. And, uh, yeah, these Shattered Glass Starscream, folks. Very cool. So, anyway, the comic, I'll just leave it here. Sit back here off to the side while we do the rest of the review here. Anyway, Starscream here. The only new accessory we get with this guy is the sword. Um, and, obviously, the paint job. The paint job is basically your nice Jetfire-ish paint job which is awesome and if you really really want to make a different head and put them on here and this could be your star uh your skyfire tetra jet if you really want to um if you really really wanted to it's up to you but all in all moving right along here star screen is in that nice white with the red and then you got the blue swords there for in his vehicle mode for storage um you got the storage here for the swords underneath here you can unpeg them the sword pieces and then also you guys guns as well for underneath um you can pick them right where they're supposed to go but hey i move stuff around on there but anyway you do get a new sword a very nice translucent blue and a big shout out to my buddy starscream on instagram for letting me borrow this figure to review because i uh, did not order one from pulse yet was ordering one from Pulse, but got distracted. But hey, you can combine these together and uh, become a bigger sword. And uh, big nitpick for him, he said that these don't tab in and they don't stay together too well. They don't clip in. So that's a big letdown on this. But hey, he gets a nice sword with a, it's translucent blue and it's painted red right here at the end. It's pretty nice. So we'll set the sword off to the side. And uh, basically it's your star screen. Now, size comparison wise, go ahead and bring in the Siege Star Screen. I'm gonna move this up and try to angle this down. There's your Siege Star Screen. So, yeah, basically, it's a Tetra Jet, it's just a different paint. 
And uh, I actually love it how they did with, with the Shattered Glass star screen. He looks good. Uh, he looks really good. And uh, there's Siege star screen for size comparison. Got to bring in Thundercracker for size comparison. Would put in my official Sky Warp if I ever had one, but no, pre order of that one freaking canceled whenever I ordered it. But there's my custom Sky Warp made from a hot link, extra hot link, whenever they were hitting stores like crazy. There's my hot link, aka Sky Warp, my version of Sky Warp. <laughs> so, yeah, try to focus in here for you guys. There we go. So yeah, so basically you get the same figure here. So not much going on here. You do get the guns; they're in a white plastic as well. So you get sword, and that's about it with this figure. No blast effects or anything that wasn't added to this. But uh, anyway, got the translucent. You got the red Decepticon logo back here on the wings here as well, and basically fold up translucent plastic right there so not much going on with starscream in his jet tetra jet mode but hey um you know what before we actually transform him you know what you know what before we transform him we'll go ahead and do a line up with all the seekers here how about that of uh, all the tetra jets that i got near me anyway rainmakers i did not open those guys yet but uh but yeah. So there is Starscream with all his other Tetra Jet counterparts. So yeah. Very cool. Alright, set these guys off the side. And now well, we will continue this review. Now transforming him is basically your same uh, transforming him as your siege counterparts. Siege transformation. Unpack the wings. The arm right there. There we go. Bring them up. Bring them up. Unpack the arms. Do the legs. Bring them down. Under the cockpit section here, bring it up, bring it up on the peg, bring this over, bring its head out, unpeg that piece back here. There we go. Peg that. And we're supposed to peg this in. There we go. His wings out, rotate his waist. Well, that was supposed to be the next first thing. My bad. But hey, shit happens. There we go. Come on. There we go. Peg in. Peg in. Put his arms out. His arms out. And there we have Starscream in his robot mode. Let me try to, there we go. Aim that back up. Sorry about that. So there is Starscream in his robot mode. And uh, yeah, very cool figure right off the bat. And uh, it's awesome to have another texture jet. Very nice. You know how Hasbro is with three paints. But hey, it is what it is, I guess. Guess we'll just have to sit back and enjoy, you know? It's nice to have another texture jet. And uh, especially whenever they keep going with this mold because my buddy Input, he likes to do customs of them. And they are really nick nasty. Um, 
and transforming some uh, Tetrajet Seekers off the side here. I was like, man, I, my star screen does not want to untag from the cockpit down here. But uh, other things while we're actually waiting here, we'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and put his null rays in on his arm. And then give him the sword, his combined sword. You can actually keep it all together. So there he is. So there is Star Screen with his sword. Oh, mighty Star Screen. <laughs> Anyway, while well, we're trying to get star screen here, such a flavor here, just that thing just does not want to unpack. The nose cone this, that splits down on the cockpit, on my copy of Siege, man. Oh, finally got that thing. You heard the snap on that. Woo! On the Siege version of this, holy shit. There he is. Grab his null rays here. And we'll do a size comparison with him as well. Star screen here. With star screen. <laughs> Who knew? Star screen with star screen. Yeah, I forgot to flip this piece up in the back for on him. Bring that back. My bad, guys. My bad. But yeah. Anyway, we'll get get this rotator out of here. Get here for some size comparisons here. Here's Star Screen with Star Screen. You got the regular regular version of Star Screen here. And then you got the shattered glass version of Star Screen. Looks really good. Looking really good. So yeah, I'm not going to transform all the other Tetra Jets and show size comparison with them. But uh, basically, it's your Tetra Jet star screen. Very cool in the back. You can actually do the wings. Move the wings back a little bit. Try to flare them up a little bit in the back if you want. Whatever you want to do here. Or just bring them down. Hey, it is what it is. But uh, anyway, get in there on that nice head sculpt. Star screen. Love the black right there they did on them. It's like a flat, flat black feeling to it. Got some red on the toes there. Some red there. Red. And uh, definitely you can see the difference in the shade of the white. Off camera, you can't, on camera you can't really tell. But uh, there is different shades of white. Uh, the knee joint here, right in here, is a different shade compared to the white. That we got like these pieces right here, these different shade of white. So there's different kinds of plastic going on here with these figures. But hey, all in all, there is Starscream. But yeah, Starscream, very cool. Uh, the same articulation, same articulation that we got with the Siege. You got the same articulation. So not much going on here with that. So you get them in a nice little pose if you really want to. But uh, so there is Starscream. Starscream. So yeah, not much I can say about this figure, but it's awesome Tetra Jet version of Starscream as Shattered Glass. Very cool, and I highly recommend it, folks. Very highly recommend it. And also you get the Shattered Glass uh, version of the comic. I did not go to the comic shop and buy any of these comics by chance. I'm just getting them the, the post ones, and I'm good. Um, yeah. So yeah, so there is the new Transformers Shattered Glass Pulse exclusive star scream and uh in hand and uh, officially in hand with the official release of the pulse comic uh he kept on being delayed and delayed and delayed so he finishes up with the last of the shattered glass universe figures for now i'm sure we're going to be getting some more shattered glass here in the near future 
uh, Hasbro knows we like to shatter glass now. Now they're going to be dipping into that. So, yeah. So, until next time, folks, I'm your host, Trans 8 reviewing the new Transformers Shattered Glass Starscream Pulse exclusive with the comic variant as well, comic cover, which is awesome. And a big shout out to my good buddy Starscream on Instagram for uh, letting me uh, borrow this figure and hook me up with it to uh, do a review to give you guys some more awesome uh, plastic crack reviews for you, you plastic crack addicts and uh, for your reviewing pleasure. So yeah, until next time, I'm your host, Transaron38, talking again. Don't forget to rate and subscribe, comment on any videos I do. Keep a lookout for any new videos heading your way. And also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I'll follow you back on Instagram. I do all kinds of pictures outside with my G.I. Joes, Marvel figures. Um, I'm going to start trying to do it with some Transformers as well. So yeah, definitely check out my Instagram. I do We do videos, uh, we do uh, live stream, li live videos on there as well and hangouts as well. So yeah, so till next time, I'm your Stranger 30. I'm out of here. Later. Peace and oh hell Starscream! The heroic Decepticon, nonetheless. less.